Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve. How many of you have never, never seen a total solar eclipse? Well, I used to be one of those people and I've been on the planet for a pretty long time and I've never seen one. If I wanted to see one, I'd have to travel to another country. However, this year one came near me, so I got to go and view one and it is an experience. Now the cool thing, the reason you're watching this video is because I'm gonna show you some cool footage and also some of that footage was taken with the DJI Mini 4 Pro. So let's keep this video short and get on with the video. Here we go. You can see by this graphic that the 2024 solar eclipse begins in the Pacific Ocean and winds its way up through North America. Now if you happen to live under this path shown on the graphic in red, then you are going to see a total solar eclipse. If you live outside that path, you're only going to get a partial solar eclipse. Now I live in the beautiful city of Ottawa, Canada, and as you can see on this graphic, it is not in the path of a total solar eclipse. So that means in order to view a total solar eclipse, I'm going to have to travel south. So I picked a location that is about one and a half hour drive away, and it's called the Ruins of St. Raphael's Church. Now this location is very much off the beaten path, so I expect it next to nobody to be going to this location to view the solar eclipse. I was wrong. When I arrived, I was surprised to see other people had the exact same idea. The reason I selected this area is because it's a very spiritual area with the sun. You can see the sun always shines in the center of these runes and it looks fantastic. But there was one problem. See that big metal gate right there? Well, that's me standing on the other side. I couldn't get in. It was locked. So I just used a 360 degree camera on a pole to get these shots. Many of the graves surrounding St. Raphael's Church have been there since the 1700s, so you don't want to mess with them. Because of this, I didn't want to set up photography gear amongst the headstones, so instead I thought, what if I put the camera up through the window of the runes? What kind of image would I get? Eh, it's not that great because I would have to hang on to the camera. So I thought, time to go around the back of the runes and try out Plan C. Now you can see along the back of the runes, it would be prime space for photographing the total solar eclipse. However, plenty of people are starting to show up and they're putting down lawn chairs. Now plan D was to film inside the runes from the back and film straight up. Because if you look straight up, you're gonna see that arch at the top, which is a nice little C shape, looks really cool when the sun goes directly overhead. But once again, I had one problem. You'll see as I pull the camera backwards, <laughs> it's, there's a metal grate blocking my path. So plan E was to drive my Jeep out in a field and film from that location. It actually works out well, as you're gonna see in this video. Now I did bring the Mini 4 Pro, and the purpose of the Mini 4 Pro is to fly up and capture what it looks like on the ground when a total eclipse occurs. Here's some footage from the Mini 4 Pro, just checking out the area. Now I have to tell you about the runes if you're looking at them and wondering, where's the roof? Well, a fire destroyed the roof and much of the church in the 1970s, but the walls remain, so it became a National Historic Site. And the reason it became a Canadian National Historic Site is because this was one of the first English-speaking Roman Catholic churches in Upper Canada. Now when the total eclipse occurs, the moon will cast a black circular shadow over the Earth, and I will be in that shadow, so everything in my area will be black or dark, and everything outside my area will be lit up. And this is the main reason for bringing the Mini 4 Pro, because I can film the horizon. Alright, the moon will soon make its way towards the sun, so it's time to bring the Mini 4 Pro down. Now the camera I'm using to film the eclipse is an inexpensive Sony camcorder. However, it's got a pretty good zoom lens. Now in order to assist the camera's aperture, I have placed a Freewell ND1000 filter over top, which should remove much of the light. And with this setup, this is the resulting image I get. It's not that bad, but it's not that great. So then I tried placing my solar eclipse glasses that I got off Amazon over the front of the camera lens and this is the resulting image. It looks better and we can actually see the moon encroaching on the sun. This is great, but it's not as clear as I'd like. There's too much of a halo. So I thought, what if I put the glasses over the ND filter? And this is the result, much better. You'll notice as the moon begins to cover the sun, the sunlight around my area just seems to get more like I'm up in the Arctic. The sun is very bright in certain areas and very dark in other areas. So that means all objects have plenty of contrast and any object that's cast in a shadow from this light has a very sharp edge shadow. And now the light is getting dim as we're approaching a total solar eclipse. 
Now this portion of the video I have sped up four times the normal speed so you can see the solar eclipse occur. The camera recording this almost picks up the corona around the sun at total eclipse. And here's the corona and here's what my ground camera picked up. People say you have to experience this firsthand, and I will say it's a very strange experience. The total solar eclipse is about to end and the light returns to the skies. And this is what the DJI Mini 4 Pro saw at 20 times normal speed. The moon has cast a shadow over my area so everything is dark but only in my area. Outside the area it's daylight. Looking towards the horizon it will look as if the sun is setting no matter where you look in any spot on the horizon. You can see what I mean as I pan the Mini around. As we get to this point, the sun is starting to return, so you see blue skies coming. So all in all, it was a good day of solar eclipse filming. And as I bring the Mini 4 Pro home, I take a look at the sun for one last time, and I notice that a jet's contrails has pierced the sun. All right, so you're back to me, and I can just tell you now that now that I've seen a total solar eclipse, it's off my bucket list. I don't have to be one of those people standing on the sidelines going, well, I've only seen a partial solar eclipse. Nope, saw the total thing. Didn't get the t-shirt, but this one will do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions on my little $20 glasses and my little Freewell filter I used, and my Sony camera, which I've lost someplace around here. I use it in all my videos. Well, then post your comments below and I'll get back to you. But for now, I say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more cool reviews. Until then, I say bye.